Hi, Hiroma Fuji here, and today I want to talk about how to sit in seiza in kendo. Now, uh, if you cannot physically sit in seiza, don't worry about it. Do what you can do. Important thing is you feel uh, appreciation inside you, and you show it. Okay, nice and set. Uh, nice and if you cannot sit at all, stand nice and straight, and then bow to everyone. All right, with respect. That's more important, right? So please don't worry about it too much. All right. Now, uh, if you go to training uh, video, Kendo Basics One, getting ready for training, and one one minute zero seven seconds is sitting in seiza. So uh, up until eight minutes thirty nine. So go go through that. Okay. And important thing to know, we we call it. Uh, Saza uki, which means you sit down from your left leg. So left knee down and right knee down and sit in seiza and right knee up and left, uh, left foot up. So uh, that means you always have to think about drawing your sword. So that's where it came from, right? Again, the principle of the katana. Right, that's where it came from. So please do remember that. And a lot of people uh, have. I have to mention this. So uh, I don't know. Uh, a lot of people say different things. Okay, even senses, Kendall senses, and that the reason we have different opinions or different ways to even how to sit in Caesar is because we used to have different. Kenjutsu styles, classic styles. They have their own theories and so forth. So, I will I will tell you several things. All right. Now, the way I sit is my right big toe is on the left big toe. All right. Uh, I I particularly was told to do that. Okay, and the reason is we're gonna if we have to draw out our sword, I have to go from the right, right? And the, because then uh, the the why do I have to have uh, why don't we uh, have feet together, the right foot on top of the left foot? That is you can't keep balance well, so you don't we don't do it. And plus, apparently one toe on top of the other toe is uh, you don't really get pins and needles which is a lie if you sit more uh, long enough you will get pins and needles maybe it's it's you know maybe it has some effects i don't know i've never done this scientific uh experiment so i don't know but uh some people say they feed together you know they feed sit together toes to toe not overlapping anything i think that's uh i can think you know that's okay but not left toe on top of the right toe if you do kendo uh for the reason that you have to draw out your sword but again i don't know which you know it depends on your style of kenjutsu maybe it's different all right so i cannot say you're doing it wrong but my way the way I was taught was right big thumb, not thumb, right big toe should be on top of the left big toe. Okay, and make sure you keep your back straight. Okay, and another thing is what I learned is nose, and your belly, be your belly, okay, your belly should be a little forward. Okay, to keep your back straight. We, when you sit, when we sit, we tend to roll our back, okay? So to keep it, to prevent that, have your tummy, okay, stomach, a little bit forward, and this nose, nose line, nose should be on above your belly button. Don't roll your back, okay? That's my point. Keep your chest out. Remember, shizentai, okay, chest out. Big uh, nose on top of your belly button, okay? And then when you sit, not even when you sit on the chair, that's how you sit too, okay? So you don't even have to think about your posture anymore. Any, anywhere you go, whatever you do, keep this posture, okay? Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.
I would like to send special thanks to patrons for their constant support through patreons.com slash kindleforlife.